Today we are looking at two completely rebuilt CS Bell hammer mills. These units are in good shape. These units have been completely rebuilt. They were disassembled, sandblasted, repainted. They have all new bearings, new motors as well. We're gonna do a walk around of these units and then we're going to fire them up so you can see them run. After we've done the walk around, we will discuss these units features and their differences. Then we will fire them up. These units are in excellent condition, are ready to install and use. These units are available through us here at Commodity Traders International. These units are ready to ship. We are doing some work around here today, so please ignore the sound of impacts and potentially grinders. These two units have some differences. This unit is a bottom discharge. That unit over there is a grind and blow. This unit is single phase. It has a variable speed drive on it. You can see the face of the VFD there. In a minute, we will fire it up and let you see it run. This unit is a two horsepower. It has a brand new motor on it. Both of these have a brand new motor. The grind and blow unit has a three phase motor on it. It can be changed out for single phase. You can see the serial tag of that motor there. It is a five horsepower, three phase electric motor. So this unit is a five horsepower. It needs a little more power because it's a grind and blow. This unit is a two horsepower because it's a bottom discharge and it doesn't need the power to send the feed up into the cyclone. We are making this video with these two hammer mills side by side so that we can demonstrate the adaptations we can make to these units based on the customer's needs. If the customer needs a variable speed drive, we can set it up that way and we can also make them bottom discharge. And then if the customer needs a more simple unit that is made the way that these units were originally made, they were all originally grind and blow units. We can do that as well. And again, we can change this three phase motor out with a single phase if that's what you need. Both of these units have nice swiveling casters on the bottom. That makes it easy to move around your shop or barn. It's got some nice heavy duty, brand new casters on them. Both of these have the same set of wheels. Now we are going to open these units up so you can see the insides. We can see the knives on the bottom discharge unit. They're in good shape. They have a lot of life left in them. Would grind a very long time. The screen is in good shape as well. You can see the insides are very clean. The work speaks for itself. Again, these units have all new bearings as well. This unit over here comes up as well. They're just held in place by two wing nuts. You loosen those, they come down off of these catches and you can flip the cover up. The knives on this unit are in like new condition. They're in good shape. They haven't been rotated at all. That means this unit saw very little use and it has a smaller screen installed all right now that i have the unit connected to power again this unit is single phase 220 volts that unit is three phase that can be switched out for single phase if the customer needs it we are going to demonstrate the capabilities of the vfd now this unit is setting at 3800 that is its max speed now there is some flickering that is the camera frame rate in person the display does not flicker Digital displays always do that when a camera is used to video them. If I want to start the unit, I just hit this run button right here, at the end of my thumb. It'll fire right up. You can see it took no time to spool up. 
these motors are brand new. Fire right up, start strong, run strong. There are no irregular noises. Comes right along. Now the VFD gives me variable speed capability. So we have it set to cap at 3,800 and we have it set to cap at 3,000 if you slow the hammer mill down. So if I want to adjust it and say run at 3,500 RPM, I just hit the button and it will turn down to 3,500. If I want to slow it down even more, I just use this over button. That changes the number that you're uh, adjusting. So this would be adjusting the RPM by 1, this would be adjusting the RPM by 10, and this would be adjusting the RPM by hundreds. So if I want to adjust it by hundreds, I hit the over arrow three times, and then I hit the down arrow to the speed that I want it to run at. It is currently running at 3,257 RPMs. If I want to slow it all the way down to 3,000, I just hit that, and now it's running at 3,000 RPM. The variable speed gives you some adjustability based on the needs of whatever you're grinding. No, you cannot run this much slower or it won't work. A, whole, a hammer mill needs speed for it to work. If I want to stop the unit, I just hit the stop button and the unit will come to a stop. Now we will fire that unit up so you can see it run. There is a little clattering when the knives slow down. Now that we've shown you the VFD unit, the one with the variable frequency drive, we are going to fire this unit up for you now. The unit fires right up. There's no knocking, no rubbing. No irregular noises, comes right along. Again, this unit is a grind and blow. So the product goes down that chute, hits the knives, gets pulverized, drops through the screen, and is vacuumed away by the fan, and then is discharged at waist height. This is approximately three and a half feet from the ground. Again, this unit is three phase, but it can be switched out for a single phase. Both of these units were completely rebuilt. They are in like new condition. both ready to ship and are ready to go out into the world and perform for a long time. These units are available through us here at Commodity Traders International. Thank you for watching.